Hey, Andy, this is Rebecca Lane, your public speaking instructor, and I want to give you a little bit of feedback on your visual introduction presentation so that you can apply that feedback to your industry professional speech. So I've got this pulled up. I'm going to refresh it. All right, so here we go. Um, so the first thing that I want to talk about is make sure that you are filling your slides with the image. All right, and the thing is, is that you don't want to talk, you don't want to title your your slides with the assignment title. You really want to uh, title them with the topic title. The title of the assignment will be available down here. So putting visual introduction here isn't really an appropriate use of one of your slides. So now I'm. Okay, so one of the things you're doing awesome is I love that you started with the claim as opposed to your name and the title of your speech. Nice work, Andy. Great. Okay, so one of the things I want to talk about with your vocal production is really focus on articulation. It kind of sounds like you're mumbling, and I understand that this is a that's a fine conversation choice, uh, but one of the things it does in your speech is it makes you sound a little bit less professional. So really focus on hitting those consonants. Um, so what you're doing here, what I'm expecting, just so you know what I'm looking for, is so with those design concepts, we're looking for this concept of unity. We're looking for um, that your background, the color, the layout of the elements are thoughtfully designed and stuff like that. So the pattern you were setting up here is this blue text and you've got this white border. So these are the colors that I'm expecting to see throughout the course of your slideshow. So and also this, this specific font. So in this next slide, you do a great job of continuing that font. But notice how this, this feels kind of accidental. One of the ways to make your text feel a little bit more intentional is just to make it bigger, let it take up more space. So also try to mimic the same color. So you've changed colors a little bit. Try to make that same color happen. I like that you're using this large image. Make sure that you're filling the complete slide with it. or you're not leaving this edge uh, off the edge of the slide. This just looks a little bit sloppy. Okay, so make sure that you've got uh, you've got text on every single slide. Um, and you really want to make sure that you are citing these images appropriately. You're doing some interesting things here. With your source citations, but you want to all images, you say all images retrieved from Compfite and that's not that's not appropriate. So this this is not appropriate. What we're really looking for is that references slide that lists out the URL for every single image that you use so that we can check back and look at it and make sure that it was um, appropriately used so um, and it was appropriately licensed. So make sure that you give us that URL from his point on. So nice job using specific examples from your real life. I think that's nice. That connects the topic to you. Okay, I don't understand what this picture has to do with a decent sized class. Make sure that the images that you're showing uh, connect with the words that you are saying. Okay, so again, nice job using large images. I'd like to see text. So remember this this pattern you set up at the beginning. You want to make sure these all feel like a unified slide deck by by repeating a pattern. Okay, so Andy, I think you're off to a good start. I'd like to see a couple of these things that I've talked about. Let me know if you have more specific questions, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.